Hello, my creative friends, and welcome to another episode of The Daily Prompt. Uh, happy Saturday. Uh, this being a Saturday, I wanted to do something a little bit lighter, um, not tax you too much. <laughs> um, but I also wanted to talk a little bit about sort of where we are in the direction of this. This is not a personal vlog entry, but um, if you're not watching the personal vlog entries, you might not sort of know what I've been uh, thinking about and going through. Uh, so I did want to bring some of that into an actual episode. And again, we'll turn it into a daily prompt for you. But um, what I want to talk about in today's episode is uh, the daily prompt versus fast screenplay. Uh, and I know as soon as I say fast screenplay, people go la la la. But um, it, like I've said from the beginning, it's it's essential that you understand what I built and and how and why I built it and how it works, so that you understand all the rest of this stuff. Uh, and and. I'm a little concerned as I do this series. We're now 40-something episodes into this. Um, and the problem has become quickly apparent to me that because of the time it takes to watch each of these episodes, uh, um, and then you're supposed to go off and do your writing, uh, inspire you, and away you go, I'm a little concerned that... This is going to slow you down. One of the one of the reasons I built fast in the first place was to get writers from point A to point B. And the 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 way that I did that was the original, the OG daily prompt, which is each day you get a new action step. And in that, because we spent literally years working on it and refining it, I could actually map out the steps to take from the very beginning to the very end. And in that way, each step builds on what came before it. So in that way, we're actually developing skills as we go. It's not just a, a, a prompt like what we're doing here. Uh, it's actually an exercise that goes along with it so that we take the idea and we make it physical. It's one thing I can't do on this daily prompt series because there's just not the time. This is specifically designed to be something that I can fit within a busy schedule to give you a continuous prompt if you're not going to join me on this process. Um, the reality is, at, so this past week, I really wanted to focus on technique type stuff. I wanted, to, I wanted to focus on educational content. I wanted to sort of let you know my perspective on these things, how stories work, characters, opposition, uh, the building blocks, um, what are you trying to say? Your theme. There, there's a lot more to it. Obviously, there, are, there's mountains of detail more to go into, and my my concern is that my concern is that people are going to jump in in the middle. They're going to focus on the one detail or the one subject that catches their eye from the list of the of the titles of the episodes. They're going to get that takeaway. They're going to take that takeaway and they're not going to be able to apply or implement that takeaway because they don't have the context of everything that came before it. The further we go down this road, the more there is, the more context there's going to be. This has always been the challenge of fast screenplay as well. And the, the reason fast screenplay annoys so many people at the beginning is because it goes one step at a time and they want to jump straight to the end, but you can't do the stuff at the end without the context of what happens at the beginning. We're going to run into the same problem with the daily prompt. So, so I'm at a little bit of a crossroads of where I want to, where, where, what I want to do with this. And I want your opinion. I would really like to have your feedback in the comments on this video. What do you want to see here? What is, what is going to make this the most value for you? So, um, I can continue doing sort of 20 minute ish, uh, videos each day on a different topic on something to, give you perspective and framework and fill out the picture and sort of go deep into the insight and the producer's perspective and all that kind of stuff. Uh, or I can shrink it down. I can turn it into a quick little nugget. Um, or we can do different things on different days of the week. Um, I, I want to know what you want out of this series because ultimately, here's what I can't do with this series. I can't guide you through the complete process simply because there's too much to it. And the, the act of doing it, it's not just about the ideas. It's not just about the insights that I'm giving you. The way to actually, the way to actually develop your skills, the way to actually become a professional writer is to 
have these insights and then have an exercise around them that makes that that makes it tangible, that gives you the experience of doing it, and that the experience guides you through the entire process. I already built that though. That's fast screenplay. And I know that there are, I know there are a lot of people watching right now that have no interest in doing that. I don't even understand. I don't understand why you won't even do the first 10 steps. They're free. You can literally have the first half of the first phase for free. <laughs> um, it's free. I don't, I don't know why people don't do it. I think it's because I don't want to try it. If I like it, then I'm going to have to pay money to, I get all that, but take the free stuff. <laughs> it's like fastgreenplay.com slash start. That's it. Like that will get you into the, that will help you see not just, here's why it's important. If you don't join me, that's okay. I swear it's okay. The, the thing that drives me a little bonkers is why wouldn't you have that foundation? Why wouldn't you take that thing that I'm giving for free? People people always look at it like a screenwriting course, and it's not. At the end of the day, to actually develop pro level skills, you need to have the experience. You need to have the pro level experience. It's what I was saying in earlier episodes about the production. The production element is that missing element, right? The, the fact that writers can learn all the theory and the three act structure and how to format words on the page and write the script and they create it, but because they haven't been through the production process, they don't have that knowledge, that wisdom, that expertise, that perspective informing the creativity of the creation of that thing on the page, right? With this process, until you've been through it, until you've completed the whole process, not just part of it, not just bits and pieces of it, there are parts of this process that the alignment phase specifically and the setup phase specifically that are that are new to this world <laughs> and yet literally they're the missing elements that writers don't have and don't understand i can't the problem that i'm discovering is that i'm i am fully committed to giving you everything i know on this series but i can't give it to you in a way that develops your skills i can't give it to you in a way that pulls you through that process right i can't give it to you in a way where you learn by doing i can give you a nugget of information and say now go take action and i'm emphatic about it you should take action don't just watch these these episodes and go oh okay that's interesting click next let's see, let's see what else is out there on the internet it's essential to actually take action the problem is if you're taking random action based upon a perception of the idea and you're not taking targeted action where we take the idea, we, we it's a whole lot more detailed of an idea, and then we give you an exercise that physicalizes that idea, that gives you the experience of that idea, and then builds step by step through the entire process from start all the way to not just finish, but now with the writer's room thing, which nobody's taking advantage of as I record this, by the way. All the way through there, we're going to make your film. We're going to make a film that you write or that you contribute to writing on. I, I don't know that my goal here is to develop literally hundreds, if not thousands of writers that we can make your films and have this enormous output, not just me making stuff, me building a network, me building other people, building, 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 having this enormous studio that makes film after film after film so that writers can have the production experience, which will then inform their writing forevermore at that point. That's something I can't give you on this series. So here's what I'm thinking this series is going to start to move in slightly different direction. Uh, I want, I still want to give you a daily prompt. So if you never join me, I still want you to have all the information that I have. I still want you to take action every day. I, uh, you can, we're still friends. <laughs> if you don't join me on this, I'm going to wonder what the heck is going on, but we're still, it's all, it's okay. So I still want to do that, but I want to make sure that what I'm doing isn't actually harming you. One of the reasons, so blogging, you know, writing articles for a blog has been around since like 2004. I've been an internet person since the 90s. So, uh, so I saw blogging come along and it was something that I actively did not do. And the reason I didn't do it is because it is my opinion that 
all those blogs and all that information you're seeking out and all the six tips to this and five tricks to that and and here's why this and here's why that and all that information goes in your head and it just bogs you down. At the end of the day, I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to contribute to just stuffing your head full of information. In my opinion, if we're going to put information in your head, we should then convert that into action that gives you the experience of doing it. So rather than writing a blog, I created the system where each day is kind of like a new blog post with a whole big inside and idea, but then it's got an exercise to physicalize it. So my challenge here is I didn't want to blog because I didn't want to, <laughs> I didn't want to send you in the wrong direction. I'm a little concerned with this vlog now that I may end up doing the same thing. Here's the thing. If it takes you a year to go through the complete process, if I give you lots of good information each day and I spark you to take action each day and you keep, and you keep working, you keep developing, you keep growing, and then like six months from now, or a year from now, or three years from now, the penny drops for you and you go, I need to do the whole process. You're going to, be, you're going to have pushed that year that it takes a year, two years, five years into the future. And it's going to be that much further away for you to actually hit all these things that we've very meticulously mapped out. So... So, I understand that there are going to be probably 99% of people who watch this that are never going to join me anyway. I get that, and I respect that. That's fine. What I want to know is, what, how can we make this series something that will give you benefit and give you value more than, more than just fill your head with ideas and information? More than just pushing that into the future. Does it make sense? I need your comments. I need your feedback. I need your thoughts on all this. And I get that, I, I get that there's going to be this whole sense of here comes the, the hard sell, all that stuff. And it, it, I, I, I lament that because ultimately I want you to get where you're trying to go as quickly as possible. Not because it's, we got to get there quickly, but because this stuff takes time <laughs> to learn how to write screenplays at a level of mastery will take you a minimum minimum of five to ten years minimum my objective was to take that and turn it into one year now a lot of people think one year i had this lady uh, decide not to do fast because she was like, three years is a long time to wait to get to the end of it, to get to mastery. And I thought, first of all, if you're waiting, yeah. <laughs> uh, secondly, you're taking action that whole time. You're developing skills. You're building. You're growing. You're experiencing. You're not... If you think it's going to happen faster than that, you are, you're, you're going to end up taking longer than that. So I want this series, ultimate, look, ultimately this is going to be a vlog of me building the, the film, me building the studio, me going in that direction. Uh, we're working on that now. And from next week, I'm going to start talking about that. I'm going to start talking about the project that we're developing. I'm going to try to turn that into a prompt for you. I want to know, though, how can we make the overall series something that encourages you and inspires you and, and goes deeper and gives you actual skill and not just fills you full of ideas and inspiration? Ideas and inspiration are important because ideas and inspiration are going to, are going to give you the fuel to keep going when, when, when things are challenging. But ideas and inspiration are not enough. We have to develop skills. We have to actually build our ability. I have talked to countless intermediate and advanced level writers who think they don't need this, who think they have already done this, who think they've, been, they've learned all they need to know about this. Here's the thing. Mapping this out, there are 
sections of it, whole sections that advanced level writers have no clue about. They have not done. The reason you're not selling your work is because you haven't done them all. Specifically alignment, specifically pre-alignment, the setup phase, specifically the rewrite process. Look at, as of February 2019 anyway, look at any screenwriting course that's out there. Look at anybody who sells screenwriting courses and look for their rewrite courses. Their rewrite courses are anemic. One day course, uh, uh, one module that lasts three lessons. Like all writing is rewriting. <laughs> this process will transform your writing. <sighs> I can't teach it to you in a vlog because I can give you the ideas, I can give you the, the insights, I can give you the framework, but I can't, I can't walk you through it. I can't give you that experience and that's how it's gonna happen. So instead, I guess what I'm trying to do here, what I want to know is how can we make this vlog, uh, how can we make this the, how can we make this as powerful as that in its own unique way? Because I think the way I've started this all out is I've started this out by kind of trying to take you through that, quickly realizing that I can't do that, still trying to give you more insight and information each day. <sighs> I'm, I'm learning <laughs> as I'm doing this, and I'm doing this in real time. I'm not going back and I'm not gonna edit this. I'm not gonna redo this one. Uh, this is this is where I'm at. This is this is my vlog, right? Um, as we're developing the script that we're going to be shooting in the coming months, as I lay out the strategy for how we're going to do that, as I teach you uh, on this series through the doing of that, um, I want to make sure that what I present, what I give you here, is valuable to you. So ultimately. I did ask on the day, on the personal vlog entry last week, uh, the, uh, so I had this idea of making different days of the week, you know, motivational Monday or technique Tuesday or feedback Friday or that kind of stuff, right? Q and A stuff. Uh, I want to get a lot more interactive with you guys right now. It's me talking to you for most of it. I reference the comments, but I want to get really much more interactive and build this community a lot more. Um, what do you want? What would you like to see? What ideally would this be for you? And if you say, I love what you're doing so far, keep doing it, that's all well and good and I will continue to do that if that's what we wanna do. I am concerned because I've, I've, I've interacted with tens of thousands of writers, 10 something thousand writers at this point and I just know that there are certain things that I can I can do it and we can all feel good about it, but it's not gonna actually get you where you're trying to go. And that doesn't help me. At the end of the day, I want you to get where you're trying to go in part because it's gonna help me get where I'm trying to go. In part because the better the quality of writing, the better we're going to be able to create the indie film studio. So, um, right. <laughs> so let me pull this back to, I know I've been talking about me and I've been talking about this dilemma that I have. Let me pull it back into a daily prompt for you. When you get into your project, when the flash of inspiration that got you super excited at the beginning and fueled you and you actually took action and you pushed through and you decided this time it's real, you're going to get to a certain point along the way and when you get to that point, it turns into a grind. It turns into a challenge. The initial spark of the idea is not enough to push you all the way through to the end. It has to change, it has to morph. It always will. It's the nature of creativity, it's the nature of writing. So uh, this, none of this shocks me, by the way. But it may shock you, particularly if you're a newer writer or if you're an intermediate writer who's been struggling for years and years and years. You can't figure out why you're not struggling. It's because you haven't done all seven phases complete at a level of mastery. That's why. Literally, that's why. But you're wondering why I can't. I'm not getting where I'm trying to go. And so you lose some steam and it turns into not that super inspiring, passion-driven uh, 
thing that you're pushing for, it turns into a grind. And when it turns into a grind, it can grind you down. And when it grinds you down, you lose enthusiasm, you lose passion for your project. You may still want the goal, you may still believe in the idea or the movie or whatever it is that you're pushing towards, but the grind can grind you down. And when it grinds you down, you run the risk of quitting. You run the risk of abandoning this. But whatever you start next, you're gonna face the same grind. It's the nature of the beast, it's the process. So, what you have to do from time to time is you have to step back and you have to reevaluate where you're going. You have to reconnect with why you're doing what you're doing. For me, it's not to sell fast screenplay. It's not even to build an independent film studio. It's to help the world understand that creativity is the new currency. Creativity is how we connect with each other. You have a window on the world. It's important that you share your stories because they're going to affect me. They're going to affect other people. They're gonna affect your audience. And this is how we're going to spread our messages. It's how we do now. And it's absolutely how we're going to in the future. When more and more things are automated, it's gonna be more and more about spreading our stories. That's my belief, that's my, that's my thesis. How do we do that? How do we develop those skills? We create movies. We learn how to tell stories. We learn how to tell long form stories. That's why I've built the system. That's why I've created this series for you. That's my goal, that's my motivation. Okay, cool, so now we reorient we understand what the goal was. We reconnect with our passion. Now, is how we're going about it the most effective way? And if not, how do we adjust? And that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm putting it to you to get the input, to get the feedback, to really get a sense of where do we want to go with this? I'm still going to be going through the, built, creating the, the movie. We're, the the story's starting to really come together. I'm super excited about it. I'm going to talk about more about it next week. Um, Still planning to shoot June, hopefully, if not earlier. Eh, probably June. <laughs> These things take a little logistics planning. Um, still hoping to get this thing done to by towards the end of the year. Still going to vlog the entire process along the way. Still hoping that some videographer out there is watching this now and says, holy crap, I want to be a part of that. I could become this guy's cinematographer. I could become this guy's director. Let me help him with his little simple little vlog here and get this thing up and running and show him what I can do. I'm still hoping all these things are going to happen. If they don't, it's going to be you and me talking like this as I go through this process. Okay, we do what we have to do. But if we can refine, if we can pinpoint more effective ways to get where we're trying to go, uh, that's important to do. It's important to reevaluate and reassess from time to time. So that's what I wanted to do with this. That's why what I wanted to talk to you about. Because this isn't just me talking to you. I, I really do want this to be a dialogue. I really do want this to be a community. I want I want to I want your participation as much as I want my own participation. Because I can't build this by myself. I need people. I need help. We're I, we're gonna build this together. How? I don't know. I've laid out my thesis. I've given you 40-something episodes now uh, presenting my basic framework. It's time to... I wanted to lay out the initial framework here. So I knew it was going to take a month and a half or more. Could probably do this for another couple of weeks. Uh, just laying the groundwork and the foundation and then move forward from there. We're at that point. We're at that sort of transition. We're at the end of Act One. If you want to talk about a three-act structure story, although this may be, this may well be a ten, twelve, fifteen-act structure. Maybe a move, a, a movie as a television series. Um, so, to turn it into a daily prompt for you, think about your project. If you're working on it a little bit, if you're starting to feel the grind. Respect that that grind is part of the process. Respect that you have to keep persevering. You have to keep pushing forward. Even in those times when you think, I don't know if I'm on the right track. Because you have to experience it in order to understand, to, in order to take away those, those skills, in order to take away, in order for that experience to inform the next project. Don't think of just this project. Think of the larger career. Think of the whatever project you're working on right now as a piece in a larger picture. What is that picture? Reconnect with that picture. It's going to help you get where you're trying to go. So 
before we go today, <laughs> at the end of this Saturday, please post something something in the comments today. I know we're getting views and we're not getting comments. Um, this past week were a lot less comments than I thought there would be based on the fact that we're talking about specific technique stuff. Um, do you not really care about that? Are you more interested in the producer's perspective? Are you more interested in this thing that I'm building? Tell me what you want. Ask me questions um, and we'll make this will make this something that you're going to love as much as I love making for you. So um, rather than just being a one-way street of like, let's listen to Jeff for 25 minutes. Um, and then I think that's where that's how we'll get where we're trying to go. So back to the title of this thing, prompt versus fast. At the end of the day, if you really want to get where you're trying to go, I urge you to at least do the free start. It's free. At least do that. There's 10 day foundation for writers. Even if you never, even if you have no intention of joining, do the free start. How, like, why wouldn't you? <laughs> and then join me tomorrow for tomorrow's personal vlog entry or Monday when we're going to start getting into the project that I'm going to be vlogging as we go along. Thank you for indulging me a little bit. Be sure to comment, please do. If you're new around here, click the subscribe button, click the bell next to it to make sure that you get notified when new videos are up. Go to our Instagram channel. We're, we're building that at a rapid pace. Uh, go to Instagram, just like us on Facebook, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and then have a wonderful Saturday. Take a little bit of action today at least and keep moving forward because we are going to get you where you want to go. Hopefully in a mutually beneficial way. If not, we'll just get you where you're trying to go. Thanks for watching. See you.